Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I've got my fall lookbook for you guys today. I am so excited that it's finally fall lookbook time. It is sweater weather time. I know you guys love sweater weather because I polled you on Instagram last weekend about what you were looking for for lookbook. Was it faux leather? Was it sweaters? Was it jeans? Was it booties? Or was it all of it? And the number one answer was sweaters and then all of it. <laughs> so I guess you guys are like me, you get excited about fall and the change of seasons and either getting new clothes or shopping your closet and wearing some things that you had last year. Anyway, I have been shopping at all of my favorite stores, Nordstrom, Amazon, Target, Walmart, and loft for what I have to show you today. So nothing on here is gonna to be too, too expensive. Some things are very, very affordable. And so I like to do a mix of mid-range and affordable in my lookbooks. And we'll go from casual up to dressy. So I'll just show you some outfits, give you some inspo if you're looking for inspo, give you shopping links if you're looking for shopping links, my sizing information, and all the links will be in the info box below the video. Sometimes I run out of room in the info box. If I I do, I will continue it in a comment below the video that I'll pin to the top. And of course, everything will be linked on my blog as well, as well as like to know it. And I'll probably be showing a lot of it on Instagram as well. So make sure that you follow me in all those different places. All right, first outfit involves what I'm wearing right here. It is this adorable sweater, this cute tank, not these jeans. I actually think I showed you the full length in a different pair of jeans, although I do love these. If I back up a little bit, you can see they have, they got rips in the knees. So I know some of you don't like the rips in the knees. They're very wide leg, which is really in this season. And I love these jeans, but I am showing them over here with my favorite pair of page jeans. And I just got these over the summer. I think they were on sale. Not sure if they will still be, but if they are, I'll mark that in the info box as well. But they are the best fitting jeans I think I've ever owned. These just have the tiniest bit of distressing on them. Kind of some things down here around the ankle, around the hem, and around the pocket, but they're not majorly ripped anywhere. As you guys know, the skinny jeans are out, which I was like, oh no, it's fall. What are we going to wear our knee-high boots with? But don't worry, the solution is you just wear them with skirts or you wear them with leggings or you wear them with skinny black pants. But you're gonna be wearing your jeans with booties or sneakers this fall, okay? So don't try to tuck your wider leg jeans into your boots. It's not a, not a good look. I'm wearing my Converse sneakers with those. I got these last year. I think they might've been in my fall lookbook. It's been a whole year. This is the same pair. I wear these practically every day. I mean, they're a little bit scuffed, but holy cow, do they hold up amazingly. And the reason I wear them every day is because they are so soft and comfy. They literally are like walking on a marshmallow. Look at the sole. It looks practically brand new. So those are awesome. They are a little bit spendy, but they will last. This is such a cute sweater. I just love it. I love this tie detail over here. It's a full wrap so you can open the whole thing up and there is a snap on the inside here that holds it together. And this is just a really nice weight sweater. It's not a super lightweight sweater so it's going to be better for when it gets a little bit colder I think. And uh, it's really comfy. It's not itchy. And then underneath this I have on this little tank top. I found the best like under layer pieces this year. I love a little sweater tank. I love a little uh, stretchy ribbed tank, but these days the kids, meaning anyone like 35 and under, um, are wearing them cropped. And so there's a little bit of belly showing between the shirt and the top of the jeans. I feel like, you know, if you're more mature, like I am, you want to tuck it into your pants. So this one is actually long enough. It's not super long, but it goes, you know, to like here. And it came in great colors and the fit is awesome. So the jeans in this next outfit are a pair of jeans that I've shown you a lot over the last couple of years, except I bought them in black. I have them in a couple of different washes. I have them in a light wash and I have them in like a medium wash that's cropped. The cut is my favorite cut for the like high waist kind of mom jeans. And these are fantastic. I thought I would try some black ones for the fall this year. And I love these because I love having this black and tan moment going on. So the jeans are awesome. So then the sweater with that is this cropped cardigan. This is such a cutie. I love these little wooden toggle buttons. Aren't they adorable? I just love the, everything about it. The weave is really nice. And underneath the sweater, this is one of the little tanks 
that I had mentioned before. This is like a little sweater tank and this is so cute. I love the um, stitching pattern on this. It's like got a little diagonal pattern. This is like a perfect layering tank for under your heavier sweaters, especially if you're having hot flashes and you need to whip something off. You can take the over sweater off and still have on a cute under tank. This comes in so many great colors. I think I bought four. <laughs> I got the green, I got the black, I got it in like a lavender and in gray, I want to say, because the price was right and they are just so stinking cute. So I had to have a bunch of those. And the booties that I have on with that outfit, oh my gosh, am I fairly obsessed with these. I saw these online and was like, yes, you will be mine. I mean, obviously they'll go with other colors of jeans, but I just think that this whole look is just like, Mm, my idea of fall. These are a faux croc print and they're in this beautiful patent bone sand color. And these are so comfortable. I love it that a lot of the booties this season have a square toe uh, because you know my toes like a lot of room in the toe box and with a pointy toe I don't get a lot of room and so those things are uncomfortable for me but a nice square toe is really comfy. I thought these were super comfy and I love how they go with this entire look. All right, the next outfit I was thinking would make a perfect, like if you're allowed to wear jeans to work on Friday outfit. It's just a little bit more elevated because of the cut and the color of these jeans. I love these jeans. They are one of my favorite pairs of all time. Is this them here? Yeah, here they are. They are the Wit & Wisdom Itty Bitty Boot Cut Jeans. These jeans fit so well. And so they are just the best looking jeans. They make your butt look great. They make you look about 10 miles tall because of the cut of this leg that it's kind of straight through the thigh and it doesn't flare a ton, but it flares just the tiniest bit at the bottom of the jean. And this dark wash, it makes your legs look like they are a mile long. Put it with this sweater. This is a long line cardigan. It's very lightweight cardigan and underneath it I have on another one of those little sweater tanks. This is the black one. And just showing you a bit of layering here for the fall. I have that on with this coat. This is such a pretty coat. It's got like a herringbone print to it. It's camel and white. I just love the pattern so much more than a plain camel. Comes about down to the knees, but I love it with this longer sweater. This fits under here very easily because this is super thin sweater material. And I think this is a great looking coat. And the boots that I have to go with that are these white boots. This is a less expensive version of kind of those Sam Edelman's. And I love the square toes on these too. They have a really chunky heel. These are really funky, fun looking boots. I love them. They're very, very comfortable. And for those of you who are more petite, I've got this shorter sweater with it um, so that you could do basically the same outfit with the dark wash jeans and the booties and the same coat over, but just put on more of a crop sweater. It's got almost a waffle weave and it's not a solid orange. The yarn has like little flecks of white in it and it is a real cutie. All right, you guys, next outfit features these pants from Spanx. I had seen the Spanx pants on lots of my influencer friends and I thought they looked so fantastic that I really wanted to get a pair. What is it with Spanx? They have some kind of magical material. They have some kind of magical way of sewing things. I mean, you put these on and you look like a million bucks. It makes your butt look like so much rounder and better than it really is in real life in any of your other clothes. They don't have any pockets. It's a very sleek look. They have kind of faux look pockets in the back and they are just a pull-on pant with an elastic waist. The fabric though is beautiful and I gotta say these except for this one dog hair that I'm pulling off these pants right now let me show them to you up close and personal. They don't pick up any lint. I'm telling you when I say this is like a magical fabric it's magical because I have another pair of pants in here that picked up every piece of lint from my entire house. They are a lint magnet and I've delinted them 20 times for the video. These I delinted zero times and you know, I live with two dogs, one of whom has long white hair. None, none on here. These are amazing, they're spendy. I got these in a regular, but these do come in three different lengths. So they come in petite, regular, and tall, so I'm wearing this sweater with it. This is one of my favorite sweaters of the season. Bought this over the summer, and since then I bought another one in black. This is a really lightweight fabric. I just love this. You know, like I said before, if you're having hot flashes or whatever, this is gonna be the sweater for you because it's so 
nice and lightweight. It's got this really deep V. You might need like a little tank or something for it. It's got a little bit of a dolman sleeve, but not so much that you can't get it into your jacket. You know, you see I have a jacket on over it, over here. I showed you this jacket in my spring lookbook with um, this skirt that I think I'm gonna show you again. This jacket is such a great staple for the fall. It goes with everything. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it you know, as an office piece, you can wear it dressier. It just looks so good with every single thing. It just elevates your look. So like if you have on jeans and the Converse sneakers and a white t-shirt, you can wear this. If you have on you know, these pretty black pants and some really beautiful booties, uh, that would look great together. It's so soft, it's a little bit stretchy, so it's more like, it's not so much jacket fabric as it is like sweater material, and it's pretty thick. So I think it's gonna be warm. It's not gonna be winter coat warm. It's definitely gonna be like fall, beginning of fall before the frost and the snow comes warm, but a beautiful, beautiful jacket. So happy that I bought it last year, last spring. And the boots that I have on with that, just to continue that one long leg look of those pants, are these boots that are my favorite boots of the season. I mean, the Sam's, yes. I won't get as much wear out of the Sam's as I will out of these. These are gonna be like my everyday boots. And with the square toe, they're so comfy. I love the shape of the heel. I love it that they have a little platform, so you're up a little bit higher. Definitely make you look taller. And then the second way that I'm gonna show you those pants is with this top. And this is a faux leather peplum top. I wasn't sure if this was gonna look good when I got it in and I tried it on and was like, oh, yee, yee, you know, I get so excited about things when they look so cool. And this is a cool top. This comes in, I wanna say black and like a green color, but I loved this aubergine. It's like a really, really dark, dark, dark purple eggplant color. I hope it's reading true to the right color on here. Peplum is so flattering. I just think this is the coolest little thing. Love the belt detail. It's got little buttons and a collar. And I just thought that this looked so special. And the inside actually feels nice. The inside feels kind of like faux suede. It is so cute. So will be linked below along with everything else. This is a pair of pants that I mentioned that have picked up every piece of lint in my house, unfortunately, because I think that these are really cute pants. The price point on these is really, really good, and I was really very happy with how well they fit. If you are looking for, you know, like a skinny black pant that you can wear with your knee-high boots, these are awesome, but you do have to have a lint roller with you. <laughs> Super cute pants. Um, they don't have any pockets. They have a side zip. They are really nicely made. They have an elastic waist, and I think that they look terrific. It's just a basic sweater with you know, a v-neck and a little bit of a balloon sleeve. The fabric is nice and soft and it doesn't feel like it's gonna be like super pilly or anything. So really cute sweater. I just love the color of these boots. I think they're so pretty. I love this like wine color. I just thought they were gorgeous. These are faux suede. They are just so beautiful. They don't have any kind of zipper or anything, uh, but I didn't have any trouble getting them on. Just slide right in. And I'd say that the calf circumference is uh, probably an average size. It was a little slightly big on me. They're really comfy and really cute boots. All right, next outfit has these faux leather pants. I grabbed these over the weekend. I showed these to you on Instagram and they just looked so beautiful. These are buttery soft and they look and feel like real leather. These are so gorgeous, you guys. And I love the little belt detail. They are a straight leg crop pants, so they are perfectly styled for right now. They have the slash pockets. They have um, these little working back pockets. I mean, these pants are just so, so gorgeously made. And I love them just with a black sweater and black strappy shoes. So this is the same sweater that I showed you earlier in the rust color. So it's got the same plunging deep V, same lightweight fabric. Love this sweater because it's so easy to tuck it into something like the faux leather pants. The shoe I have on with that are these strappy sandals. I love these shoes, they are just so cool. Love the square uh, toe on these that is very in right now. I love these puffy straps. I don't know why they didn't invent the puffy straps sooner. <laughs> They make shoes so much more comfortable with the puffy strap. And look at the little heel, it is so cute. And the footbed on these is padded, so they are so comfortable. And I love all the strappy details on them. I think they're just beautiful. 
All right, next up is an outfit that would be great for the office or great for date night or great for going out to you know lunch or whatever. I mean, you can just wear this so many places. I just love this little faux suede skirt. This came in a few different colors. I know it came in like a dark purpley color and black and this green, but it's got these really cute patch pockets on the front with the uh, little snap, it's so cute. It's got a side zip. You could wear it with short booties with naked legs or you could wear it with knee high booties with naked legs. I went with the tights. My favorite pair of tights are from Loft and so I'll link those in the info box below. They're just the right weight for me and they're not shiny. On the top with that skirt, I have on this adorable little sweater. I actually have this sweater in two colors as well. I have it in tan and this color and I got the tan one last fall, I wanna say, and then I bought this one over the summer because they brought them back in more colors. So it's a perfect sweater for transitioning in the fall so that you can put on a jacket, but if you get hot, you can take off the jacket and then you've got a short sleeve on. And then I threw this jacket on with it. I just thought this was so cute. I love a plush fleecy jacket. And most of them are like those teddy bear quarter zips that you pull over your head and they're definitely only for the weekend. But I saw this one that's kind of styled like a denim jacket or just like a little crop jacket and it's black and white plaid which of course you know I love. The boots that I have on the bottom are these knee-high boots. I bought these last year I want to say in the fall maybe for fall or winter lookbook and these are my favorite faux suede boots. They are inexpensive and they're so comfortable and they're just so great looking. I love these so much that I bought another pair in gray that you're gonna see in another outfit in a couple minutes. So um, yeah, these are great boots. They have a little zipper over here to help you get in and out of them, makes that very easy. And they're very comfortable and I love the styling on them. All right, next outfit is one that I showed you in my spring lookbook. So this may be a repeat for some of you, but it is this skirt, this beautiful uh, layered skirt. And the top layer is like tulle with black velvet uh, flowers on it. And it's actually got three layers. There's two layers of tulle and then a bottom underskirt. The only thing that I don't love about it is the waistband. The waistband just looks, you know, not great. Doesn't really match very well. Not very pretty. But you put on a belt with it, you hide the waistband, and then it looks like a million bucks. Put it on with that same tan jacket, the same little puff sleeve sweater. Throw on the tights and the black suede boots and it makes it into a fall outfit from a spring outfit. But this uh, skirt also comes in lots and lots of different colors if you're interested in something besides this. And I think there's different patterns too, not just the flowers. I think there's ones with hearts on it. All right, I always save the dresses for last and I have three dresses to show you today. This first one is perfect, I think, for the office or for date night or whatever you're doing. I just think that this dress is so versatile. It could be dressed up, it could be dressed down. It's got a nice kind of sheen to it. It looks very much like silk or satin or something. And it's a basic shirt dress style, but it's so much more than a shirt dress because of all the little details that make it so wearable and make it so much more chic and so much more elevated and so much cooler than like a standard shirt dress. So it's not super short. It actually comes to the knee, which is great. I kept on the tights and the black boots with this, and I think that makes a good outfit. You could definitely wear this with these booties um, and naked legs, and what a beautiful color for fall. And the next dress, Again, love this color for fall. This is a rich burgundy color, and this is such a cute dress. This is also kind of a silky type fabric, but not quite as much shine as this one, but it does have the same kind of movement to it. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, that is so pretty. And it looks like it's actually gonna be long enough. I don't mind an above the knee dress. I actually prefer dresses that are above the knee sometimes, uh, but I don't like them to be too, too short, right? They have to be just, Right, I'm like the papa bear and the mama bear and the baby bear. It's got to be just right. And those boots are the same boots as the black ones, but just in the gray color. I wanted to show those to you, so I put them with this dress. So we are almost to the end. I have one more dress to show you, and it is a beautiful special occasion dress. This is for if you like have a wedding to go to or a really fancy party, something like that. I'm showing it to you in black. I really wanted to show it to you in this color though. And the black of course is classic and timeless and beautiful and this dress fits like a glove. But definitely size up on it because as I said, I usually take an extra small in everything, but in this brand especially, I have a couple of their other dresses and 
I always have to size up one in them and then they fit perfectly. But the quality on these is just outstanding. The fabric is so beautiful. And the best thing about this dress, besides how fantastic it looks, is that you don't have to wear a bra with it. It's got boning over here on the side and the front is shaped and so it somehow holds the girls up. I mean, I can't guarantee it. If you have a substantially large chest, then maybe you might need a strapless bra. It is just stunning, it's flattering. And so if you have something to go to this fall, then definitely pick up this dress. Came in lots and lots of colors as well. So that's everything that I had to show you on the rack here. Then because you guys did answer sweaters uh, on Instagram, I thought I would just show you rapid fire a whole mess of sweaters. Just if you see something you like, it will be linked in the info box below the video, along with everything else, along with my sizing information to help you pick out what size you may get. If the item runs true to size is runs large or small. So if you found the video helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the lookbooks as much as I enjoy making them. And so I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.